No doubt, Bangkok is absolutely amazing with endless things to do and a stunning skyline. This is only my second time visiting this city and this time I get to explore it a little deeper. But I'm actually being shown around by a friend who happens to be a fellow Canadian that knows the city much better than I do. That was a super long bus ride and I didn't sleep. I got a sleeper bus thinking I was gonna sleep on the bus and I didn't sleep. But it feels so good to be back in the city and I am en route to have a reunion with one of my good friends that I haven't seen since Canada. Hello, welcome to Bangkok officially. Thank you. We haven't seen each other since Calgary. <laughs> yeah, which in a way doesn't feel that long ago, but I think it's been at least four or five months. So yeah. I know we're pretty lucky we get to see each other Absolutely. here in Thailand. Good timing, good I know, timing. Really good timing. So she brought me to this park today. She specifically picked this park for well first of all this is the most famous park in downtown Bangkok and that's kind of the area we're going to be exploring today because to take you to all different points of the city we would just be in traffic all day <laughs> as I was coming here so Pretty this cool. is like the main park downtown and it is especially known for monitor lizards mm -hmm which look a little bit scary, um, but they actually do not hurt humans as long as you don't go after them. They're not gonna go after you. And this is like their main home here in Bangkok. She actually has planned a really fantastic day for us. So this yeah. is just the beginning. <laughs> I still haven't had my one iced cappuccino for the day yet. So that's we also coming up. That, absolutely. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it since I got off that bus. Yeah. <laughs> and she loves Bangkok. So she's, I love Bangkok. yeah, this is like her favorite city. She's now got a, she stayed here for a month. It's coming to an end. Yeah. But yeah. it's not her first time here. No. How many times have you been this here? This is my third time here. And yeah, <laughs> it's a place that I'll definitely come back to and is a great place to really like have as a home base to work from you know yes the apartments are great here everything's convenient it's safe the people are nice like so many positives about Bangkok in yeah. my mind I do love Bangkok it is pretty hot yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the one thing <laughs> and it's about to get hotter because of the going into the summer season yeah <laughs> but at least I went to my first park in Bangkok today I finally got my iced cappuccino. I've been waiting all morning for this. Mm. It's so, so good. We actually came to Alina's favorite breakfast spot. We had to wait for about 20 minutes to get a table because it's actually really popular. But it's beautiful in here. So this is Toby's and this is actually an Australian kind of brunch place, which when I'm traveling Southeast Asia, especially unless I'm in Bali or Thailand, I find it is hard to get like a Western breakfast. I got this egg bake. I didn't know that this was gonna look like, for some reason when it said baked eggs, I was envisioning like just two baked eggs or something, but with some sourdough toast. I love sourdough toast. And Alina, what'd you get? Uh, I got the smashed avocado, which as a millennial is apparently what I eat. Uh, avocado, poached egg, bit of salad, chorizo, uh, sausage, and yeah, very good coffee here as well. So if you're a coffee lover, great choice. I'm excited. <laughs> it's always better when you're starving, because what time is it? It's 12. It's brunch. And it's brunch, exactly, it's brunch. yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite time of day to actually have my first meal, too. But I bet you it's going to be delicious. There's some chorizo, cheese, even looks like bacon in there. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh. It's kind of hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I see what you were talking about. <laughs> a little hard today for some reason. Definitely toasted sourdough. <laughs> mm. It's really good though. It's like pizza. That's what it reminds me of. Like that because the cheese is so crusty. I like it. Really good. Highly recommend. Look at what I found under there. 
That is the egg that I was looking for. Here I thought it was actually scrambled egg in there, but nope. That's what I envisioned in my mind was like a little egg cook like that. So found it. Toby's was so good, so it was a great recommendation. And then she spoiled me. She treated me to our breakfast, so thank you. <laughs> Came to one of the local malls. Which mall is this? Uh, Central Embassy. And this is one of many uh, luxury malls that they have here on Sukhumvit, which is like the main uh, downtown street in the city. So there's like Central Embassy, there's M. Portier, there's Siam Paragorn, there's MBK where I think I'll oh. take you to kind of give you some diversity. Um, but yeah, I really like Central Embassy because it tends to be uh, quieter compared to some of the other Yeah, malls. it is nice and quiet actually. And on the top floor, there's something really cool that I Ooh. wanted to show you. <laughs> I love surprises. One thing that I've noticed having been in Thailand for a while is that their malls are so nice. Like, why don't we have this in Canada? And it must cost millions if not billions like icon cm is 1.5 billion uh to make i wonder like who pays that is it the developer or is there like i don't know social funds from federal level or what because it's way better than anything we have in canada <laughs> yeah this is a very good yeah. point <laughs> yeah this is the top floor of the mall and it is this incredible bookstore slash restaurant slash cafes just a really cool place to hang out and if we go out that way down there you also get a really nice view of downtown so definitely recommend coming down here guys this is by far one of the my most favorite things i've seen in bangkok <laughs> i love books and i love bookstores and this is probably the nicest bookstore i've ever seen in my life let's go check out that view alina was talking about because the skyline in bangkok is next level amazing from so many angles so i'm excited to see this one this place is so cool <laughs> i'm so glad you brought me here <laughs> you can even come here and have a glass of wine oh yeah there's i think even like a caviar bar somewhere in here and the coffee shops are so nice and they have events here too as well wow. and a co-working space i'll show you that later on yeah oh, cool. there's so much <gasps> okay the view i see the view lena <laughs> wow this is amazing! Bangkok is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, Thailand is in general, but this is such a nice city. Love it! <laughs> Co thinking space. That's awesome! What's really cool is that uh, there's also a seating area there where you get a nice view wow. of the city. And like, look how many plants and everything they got going on here. This is amazing. So nice. I would come and work here every day. Right? This is so cool. Wow. I love the co-working office that I was at in Calgary, but I'm sorry. This one, <laughs> I think it trumps every co-working office I've ever been in. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Actually, the nice sit-down restaurants and it's on the bottom floor that <coughs> there's like um, a more budget uh, food oh, court okay. where yeah you can get meals for like four dollars or something like that wow. so these are the more expensive sit-down restaurants okay yeah. so like different levels different prices yeah the higher you go the more expensive it is I, love it. I don't know if you guys have heard about the 7-elevens here in Thailand but the 7-elevens are next level in a lot of ways you can get anything your little heart desires. One thing I was actually most surprised about with the 7-Elevens here is that their coffee, especially their iced coffee, is decent. You know how in, I mean in USA and Canada, I'm sorry, it's not very good at 7-Eleven, but here it's like decent. They have a proper espresso machine and they can do like an iced cappuccino. So that's what Patrina and I are gonna get. They have everything here, like they have really good healthcare products they have like beauty stuff yeah, like so much beauty stuff. yeah. Oh, so and much it's beauty stuff. super budget friendly like everything's a dollar yeah you can get hot food as well you can even get like omelets and like little breakfast things alcohol. yeah alcohol absolutely they have a lot of different options not only do they have their like medicine section right here but they also have stationery like you can come to 7-eleven you need some school supplies they got you covered oh even some shoe 
inserts. They got you covered. Nail polish. This is crazy. You would never find this in Canada in 7-Eleven. Just look at this. Okay, you can get like, these are like pota sweet, potato. sweet potatoes, yeah. pumpkin, mm -hmm. <laughs> a bag of peanuts. Yeah. Do you want corn on the cob? 7-Eleven's yeah. got you covered here. And you know, if you get anything like dumplings, because they have grilled banana, they have like sandwiches. And if you get a sandwich, they actually have a sandwich press here and they'll cook it for you. Or if you get dumplings, they'll like cook the dumplings for you. You just say, oh yeah, here, see all these. There's so many different flavors. Ham and cheese, spinach, double sandwich. So you buy one of these, they'll put it in the, in the press, toaster press, and get it all warm for you. Oh, one of my favorite snacks here. Oh my gosh. Cream mochi. Oh, yeah. The really bomb. Good. The total bomb. But we're not on a mochi trip today. Oh, you want a coconut? <laughs> like, not even just coconut water out of a bottle. You yeah. get, like, the actual coconut yeah. at 7 yeah. Eleven. So good. All right, but we're here on a mission, and our mission yeah. is coffee. coffee. Let's do this. Uh, actually, I hope this is going to be the same coffee that most 7 Elevens have. This is, like, a different standalone cafe. I don't know if it'll for sure be the same. So let's see. Oh no, this is. I mean, we can try it, but yeah, this isn't 7 Eleven. Yeah, normally it's like behind them. Yeah, yeah. Should we go up the street to the other 7 Eleven? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We just found a new 7 Eleven? Yeah, that has a proper coffee place. The beauty of Thailand is there's a 7 Eleven on every corner. Exactly. <laughs> so, we got our lovely cappuccinos, and like, look at this. Wow. For a 7 Eleven thing, they actually froth the foam they put some cinnamon or chocolate or whatever on it and it's like legit like this is the best iced coffee for a dollar us you can get in my opinion okay i am so excited for this i'm also very thirsty wow that tastes like a cafe, a cafe yeah. cappuccino. Well, because it is. They have I mean, yeah. from sheets. It's like 7-Eleven cafe for the win. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> and yes, everyone brings their beverage offerings mm. to the little Buddhas display. Those are the tiniest little Buddhas. Yeah. But yeah. even the little tiny Buddhas get their drink offering. <laughs> So we are at the Jim Thompson house and he is a really influential figure when it comes to Thai silk. He really brought it to an international level and now has his own brand or had a brand when um, he was around because the interesting part of his story is that nobody really knows what happened to him. He just like disappeared out of thin air. So they don't know if he passed away or if he just like wanted to disappear. I guess we'll find out on the tour. On this one, this one on the piece has some ash. This one and this one can be removed to change the colors. The tour lasted about an hour and it was actually very fascinating to learn about Jim Thompson because I had never heard about him before and also to see how he lived once you were in the house. You were no longer allowed to take videos but it was definitely, yeah, very interesting experience. I thought that Jim Thompson Museum was really cool. I personally think he was murdered, but who's to say because it's a mystery, what did you think? They said his astrology in oh, Thai yeah. said that he was gonna die at 61, and that's the year he went missing, so. That's so true, I forgot about that. Yeah, you don't know. So <laughs> Who knows what happened. But his house was beautiful. Yeah, the house was beautiful and it's great that they've kind of kept everything intact and definitely worth a visit. And take videos, only photos. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, and also the gift shop is really nice. Oh, yeah. If you actually want to buy something, that's probably the best place to do it. 100%. Yeah. Now we're off to the Sky Bar. Heck yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, Adika, can I please get a ticket to Asok? Yep. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Karpunka. All right, got my ticket. All right. Now we just gotta scan it and we're going in. We're 
literally making it a point to get to this sky bar at the perfect time right before sunset the perfect time when you get the best photo ops too absolutely yeah, yeah. go like right at 5 5 30 because the uh, sunsets here usually are quite early in the day so like 6 30 so you yeah. got to be there at least like an hour in advance yeah so we can really take it in yeah. okay check out this traffic bangkok rush hour it takes forever to get anywhere this time of day forever so there's that side and then there's that side. We have arrived to the Radisson Blue where we're gonna go up to the Sky Lounge and enjoy the beautiful sunset. Very exciting. Sarika. The reason Alina chose this Sky Bar is because they actually specialize in craft beer and being from Canada, craft beer is very popular so of course we love it and we were really looking forward to having a couple sundowners this view up here is absolutely incredible we got a little brewski it is happy hour so it's two for one yeah. hey excited it's beautiful it's here. so beautiful I'm so glad we came to this one me too. This was the best idea ever. This was definitely the perfect place to have a brewski. I cannot get enough of the sunsets in Bangkok. The skyline just blows my mind every time I get to take it in. Got a bite to eat while we were there. I got seared tuna. It was absolutely delicious. And then as we were going to our next destination, we stopped at Soy Cowboy so Alina could show me Country Road. And yes, as you can see, it is a red light district. You can see that from the lights. And there was definitely a lot going on here. Our last stop of the day is a speakeasy bar. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is exciting. It's, it's called and Find the Locker Room. Find the Locker Room. Yeah. And it's actually a friend of Alina's. Yes. So I'm excited. We've been invited to come tonight, but we don't mm -hmm. know exactly where it is. No, it's a, it's a speakeasy, right? So the entrance won't be like obvious. It's in Google Maps. We're finding the kind of way and yeah. the area. Yeah. We just don't know where the door is or exactly. where the exact place is. So that's yeah. kind of the fun of it though, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, we're getting close guys. Keep your eyes peeled because right here. this is it. We yeah. found it. Down the hallway we go. And then, oh, look it. There's a bunch of lockers. So yeah. it kind of Find looks like, room. makes sense. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. Okay, I'm looking guys, I'm trying. What's this? <laughs> Nothing's in there. Okay, this is actually kind of funny. It's gotta oh, be in one of these. Here. Wait, okay. <laughs> so Whew, it is hot though. It's gotta find the locker. Come on in. Yep, there we go. Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, up here. Yep. So now, we're in. The cocktail list was incredible and so unique. I loved all the names and the different ingredients. This one particularly caught our eye with that strawberry pina colada and rose prosecco. And let's not forget the edible glitter. It was so creamy and so delicious. I think I just found one of my new favorite cocktails of my entire life. The mixologist is so talented. He was pumping out the cocktails and it was busy in there and every cocktail was done to perfection. Lena got this really cool magic eight ball theme drink and her outlook is good. So that is great news. We tried a few and each and every one of them was super unique and like nothing else we'd ever tried before. Those cocktails were amazing. Delicious. Best Absolutely cocktails. Delicious. It was so good. It was amazing. I'm so glad we figured out how to get in there. Right. That was awesome. Yeah. It was the best way to end our day in Bangkok and I'm so grateful Alina showed me around downtown Bangkok. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It was so good. It was so good to see you I here. Know. And I'm excited for the next place in the world. Absolutely. That we, we will meet somewhere else. We definitely will. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs>